Brandon, first off, I guess the biggest question of them all, what made you choose West Virginia? Um, I love Coach Brown. Um, we sat in his office, and uh, he basically went over uh, what he's um, expecting for the future. And, um, you know, me and my family sat there, and we absolutely loved it. Um, we love the way he's taking the program, um, the way that he's really set this good mindset of um, how to act, and also um, a really big point on academics, um, on being a well-rounded person. Um, so that really sticks out about the head coach. Um, I built really good relationships with uh, all the coaching staff, um, Coach Moore, Coach Parker, and Coach Trickett are some of the coaches I really talked to. Um, you know, I love talking to them. And, um, you know, that relationship really works out. And um, I'm glad that I made this, this decision. So you get there, you do, you do an official visit, mm -hmm. right? Like, walk me through the timeline of doing the official visit to saying, you know what, this is the right school for me. All right, so yeah, we um, left West Virginia, and we knew as soon as we left West Virginia that was going to be a very high competitor. Um, we, they really surprised us um, right off the bat when we got there. Uh, coaches grabbed our bags and were very generous to us, and just like that, you know, we really clicked. And um, from that, we kept in touch. Uh, every now and then, we would call um, and text each other, uh, send each other, or they would send me edits, and um, we just get to know each other even more um, after the official visit. And um, last Wednesday, I decided to pull the trigger, and uh, they were surprised. Uh, they didn't really expect it to be coming you know, through a phone call that I didn't really tell them was um, going to happen, but uh, they were pumped. Um, they were all on vacation, so that was kind of a funny thing about it, but uh, they were pumped, and uh, they are excited to have me. When you're, when you're choosing from a list of elite schools like you were, you know, um, and you get down to it, what stuck out about West Virginia, and then what ultimately made that just the right choice for you? Um, so first thing, um, I got nothing to say bad about the other schools that recruited me. Uh, they're all great schools. Um, I love getting to know them and getting to know them uh, through uh, all these conversations and through constant phone calls over a tough pandemic. Was, um, it, was pretty, it was pretty cool to do, and so I got nothing bad to say about them. Um, they're really all great coaches. Um, what made really West Virginia stand out um, and really from uh, any other school was, I would say, the relationship with the coaching staff. Um, that's something that I really wanted to um, go to a school that had, you know, relationships with me. Um, I wanted to go to a school that had a great culture with it. Um, I wanted to go there, and they, uh, I wanted them to have a positive attitude um, toward each of the players. And, um, you know, when, when they broke out the player panel that they had, uh, they really showed that, you know, Coach Brown was really building something special, and uh, I really wanted to be part of that special group. Um, and so that really, really stuck out about them. Um, I would say uh, the tradition. Um, in West Virginia, they're really the main uh, school in West Virginia, and the fan base is elite. Um, just to play under a fan base like that uh, would be unbelievable. Uh, they're the top one of the top 20 all-time winningest programs. And uh, just to be a part of that and um, grow that um, would be amazing. You know, obviously, not only your coaches, but your family was a big part of this mm -hmm. decision. What do they think about West Virginia? And ultimately, how did they and your relationship with them go into your decision? Oh, yeah. So, um, you know, we brought, brought out a whiteboard. And uh, we went through my final five and wrote all the pros and cons about each and every school. And after that, we, we clearly saw that West Virginia was a school for me. Um, it was really a family decision. And that's actually what uh, one of my main things was, you know, this is not a me decision. This is a family, um, five-person decision. And so um, they really love West Virginia. They truly do. Uh, the coaches have been in contact with them, uh, constantly texting them and um, getting to know how they feel and uh, kind of talking with them to grow the relationship with them because, um, growing a relationship with me is important, but you know, even more important would grow a relationship with them. And so, just to see that happen, that, would, that really was another thing that really stuck out about West Virginia. And um, they really like it. They really do. Heading there, what do you think you can bring to to a team like that? Um, I feel like I can bring aggression. Uh, I feel like I play with a lot of aggression. Um, I also feel like um, I need to go there and be a leader. Um, I think that all great teams have great leaders, and so I need to go there with a positive mindset. Um, with a hardworking mindset, and go there and win some Big 12 championships. So. I love that. You know, throughout your whole high school career so far, you've been playing for that opportunity for a scholarship, right? That's right. And now you head into your senior year, the weight's off your shoulders. How does that change 
the way you approach the game in your final year here? Yeah, so um, my teammates have really invested a lot into me, so I need to invest a lot back into them. Um, just to have this kind of process over with is, is a big relief. Um, it's been fun, but um, has, been, has been stressful at many points. Um, so just to be, kind of be able to focus on them and uh, my team this year, um, it is my senior year, so we got to come out with a bang, and um, hopefully we can keep that going and uh, make a streak in the postseason. Now, obviously, West Virginia was the right choice for you. You see a lot of these guys here locally sometimes stick with the Indiana school, mm -hmm. stick with a close school, you know. What, what was important to you about kind of going your own path and maybe going pretty far away from home? For sure. So, um, you know, my family has mainly either gone to Purdue or IU. Um, they just truly have big IU and big Purdue fans, but I kind of wanted to start some on my own. Uh, Someone be different. Um, that that was really was something that um, I wanted to do, and um, that actually was one of the reasons um, was a big reason of um, why my decision was West Virginia is uh, starting my own journey. And so I'm a guy that I did. Um, all respect to the NSA schools, but um, you know, a guy start my own journey. Absolutely. You know, uh, through this process, you can't do it by yourself. Is there anybody that you're wanting to mention or thank you? Just who, who has helped you get to this point? Uh, my coaches, uh, coaches have been a big part of it. Um, they've been constantly pushing me uh, to always be um, the better person and also always not settle for the norm. Um, I mentioned that in my video, was uh, never to settle for the norm and to um, always be a hard worker. Um, so I would say really the coaches here at Leo have really been a, a big factor with me, with getting me to this point. Um, I would also say my teammates. Um, I, I, I would say that my teammates um, have played a big role in, to get me to this point, and so a lot of shout out to them. Um, they've really helped me and encouraged me to get to this point. And um, of course, Traction AP, um, I train there, and I, I believe they're the best around. And all credit, a lot of credit to them. Um, they really, really helped me get to this point, and um, I got nothing but good words for Traction AP. Right on. Now, final question I have for you is just, if this goes picture perfect the next four years or so at West Virginia, what, what, what do you hope a school like that can do for you at the end of your four years? Um, I hope that they can uh, sum me up just better for the future. Um, obviously, um, going to a school, uh, a lot of people see it as a football factor, but a lot of it's about the academic and um, setting me up for a right place in the future. So um, I feel like they really do a good job of selling me academically. Um, Coach Brown has really set me or set the whole program up to try to encourage athletes to focus on um, academics um, because not everyone goes to the NFL. And so um, just to keep um, their eyes on academics um, is a really key part of um, setting up all the West Virginia players for a good future. Good deal. Last one I do have for you. So just, you know, obviously when you're going to play a school of football at a school of that caliber, you know, you do have dreams and aspirations mm -hmm. of maybe one day making it. What have those, obviously it's early, but what have those conversations been like? What do they feel like they can do for you if you want to make that dream happen? Oh, yeah, they, they believe that they can really help me get me there. Um, but they do say, you know, a lot of it's off of your personal um, success and your uh, personal hard work. So, um, you know, it's kind of 50-50. You know, they're going to help me. But if I want this goal, um, I'm going to have to bust my butt off to go get there. And, um, you know, they're, they're really determined to always uh, put great players in the NFL. And so they're going to keep that mindset, um, and I'm going to keep mine, and hopefully that uh, ends out in the best.